Hello everyone, I'm Wei Zhang from Shanghai Jiaotong University, and today I will give the presentation on our work, Australia Towards QS of Well and Resource Efficient Multi-Stage GPU Services. Our work manages multi-stage GPU services, which maximize the throughput of multi-stage user-facing services while ensuring the required QS target. Our work is a joint work of Shanghai Jiaotong University, Microsoft Research Asia, and University of Otago. My presentation will include these five parts. First, I will briefly introduce this problem we target and the corresponding background. Second, the motivation of our work. Then, based on our findings in this work, I will derive the design methodology of Astrea. Fourth, I will introduce the evaluation process of this work, and finally the conclusions. Let's start from background. What is multi-stage GPU service? Data centers often host many user-facing applications, for example web search web service, that have stringent latency requirements. User-facing services start to use machine learning technologies, and many of them, such as intelligent personal assistant, rely on accelerators to provide high computational ability. Data centers have adopted accelerators, for example, GPUs, to run these services so that they can achieve the required latency target. Traditional cloud applications are designed as monolithes, which includes the entire functionality as a single service. However, due to the increasing complexity of real application scenarios, services become too complex to develop. Actually, many in-production services on GPUs are implemented with big models, including multiple neural networks or machine learning modules. For the multi-stage user-facing services, stages are often implemented to be loosely coupled microservice, which is one green and single concern. We call these multi-stage user-facing services on GPUs, GPU microservice. Many common AI-related services, for example, test-to-test, test-to-image, test-to-speech, test-to-video, image-to-image, image-to-test, speech-to-test are all implemented by connecting multi-AI modules. For instance, image caption, which belongs to test-to-image-to-test, has two modules, an encoder using a deep convolutional neural network, and a decoder based on a stack of LSTM layers. Then we talk about motivation of our work. We mainly discuss some performance issues of GPU microservice. A single microservice stage often underutilizes a powerful GPU, hence some of the microservices will be deployed on a GPU especially when the load is low. Figure shows an example where an application with a four-stage pipeline is deployed on three GPUs from two nodes. And from the figure, the latency of a multi-stage user facing query is determined by the processing time of each stage and the communication time between the stages. The tail latency required for each stage is strict due to the dependencies between microservices and their back pressure effects. Shared resource contention and large communication overhead and random deployment of GPU microservice instance leads to QS violation. In order to maximize the supported throughput of service and ensure the required latency target, a microservice system should resolve several problems. First, the large communication overhead. As shown in the figure, GPU microservice communicates through the host memory inside the node, but through the network interface card across the node. On the left the table lists the benchmarks we used. Taking image to image as an example, according to our measurement, the communication overhead between stages takes up to about 240 milliseconds. When the batch size is 32, the microservice face recognition transfers about 215 megabytes data to the image enhancement. The latency increases by 17% when shifting in the node deployment to cross node deployment. Even if the microservices are on the same GPU, the communication is still expensive in figure left. When M1 sends the result to the next microservice M2, its data is first transferred from the global memory to the host memory and then transferred back to the global memory used by M2. 
figure right shows the breakdown of the end-to-end -end latencies of benchmarks when the microservices are on the same node. The communication takes from 30% to 50% of latency. Therefore, it's important to minimize the communication overhead when deploying multi-stage GPU microservice. Besides the, the appropriate deployment of GPU microservice changes with different hardware and load of service, a unified communication framework is required. Next problem is shared resource contention. A service achieves the highest throughput when stages have identical throughput due to the pipeline effect. An intuitive policy is carefully allocating SMs based on the offline profiles of microservice so that throughputs of stages are identical and the aggregated processing time is shorter than QS target. However, this offline policy often results in QS violation as shown in the right figure. As observed, the actual processing time of stages is longer than their offline time, and all benchmarks suffer from QS violation. This is mainly because microservices on the same GPU contain four shared resources, although SM are explicitly allocated. Another problem is limitation on GPU global memory space. Figure below show that the global memory usage and the corresponding GPU utilization were the first microservice of image to image and the second microservice of cloud gaming use different batch size. As shown in the figure, the global memory of GPU is only able to host microservice with a batch size smaller than 256, where the GPU utilization is lower than 37% and 35%. In this situation, we are not able to deploy multiple instances of a global memory consuming microservice on GPU. Now we will introduce the main methodology of this work. Our goal is to maximize the supported throughput of service and ensure the required latency target. Based on the characterization study, we design a SRIA following four principles. First, microservice has to be scheduled across GPU or nodes considering the limited global memory space. Second, the communication overhead books between microservices on the same GPU should be reduced. Third, the microservice pipeline efficiency should be maximized while achieving the required QS online. Fourth, the microservice deployment on GPU should consider the different communication overheads. The communication overhead across nodes, across GPUs on the same node, and on the same GPU should great gaps. Astria should consider such difference while deploying GPU microservice. We propose a runtime system Astria to achieve the above purpose. Astria is composed of an online performance predictor, a microservice deployment policy, and an auto scheduling communication framework. The AI based microservice performance predictor predicts global memory bandwidth usage duration and the throughput of each GPU microservice under various resource configurations. The deployment policy considers communication overhead, global memory capacity, shared resource contention, and pipeline store when managing GPU resources. Similar to unified communication framework gRPC for CPU, the proposed communication framework enables auto-scheduling without modifying the microservice source codes. No matter if microservices are on the same GPU, different GPUs, or different nodes. In Astria, the first step is predicting GPU microservice performance. Astria predicts the processing duration, global memory bandwidth usage, and the throughput of each microservice to support the efficient resource allocation policy. Besides, Astria also predicts the flops and the required global memory space of microservices with different workloads. For each microservice, we use the microservice input parameter, for example, the upcentral ratio in face recognition, input data size, batch size, and percentage of computational resource as input features. All the input features can be collected with an site system online. We evaluate three algorithms for the performance prediction, linear regression, gradient boosting decision tree, and random forest. We finally choose GBDT as our performance modeling technique because it shows highest accuracy while the time of predicting with GBDT is shorter than one millisecond. The second part in Astria is resource allocation and microservice deployment. 
We first determine the resource allocation for each microservice instance and then identify an appropriate microservice deployment. Based on our prediction, we design a contention-aware resource allocation policy. Specifically, we first determine the minimum number of GPUs. Astria used the predicted number of flops and the global memory footprints of microservice to determine the number of GPU. Second, we determine the optimal number of instances for each microservice stage and the resource quotas allocated to instance. We formalize the resource allocation problem to be a single objective optimization problem with multiple constraints on shared resource usage in equation. The design object function is to maximize the smallest throughput of a microservice in a multi-stage service. There are five constraints. First, global memory bandwidth. Second, SM quarters allocated to concurrent instance. Third, the number of microservice instance. Fourth, the global memory capacity. Five, the latency. Given the large resource allocation space in microservice, it is essential to quickly identify the boundaries of the space that allows the service to meet its QS. We employ the heuristic approach here. Then we identify the microservice deployment policy. Randomly deploying microservice results in QS violation due to large communication overhead. Astria first minimizes the cross node communication. We formalize the cross-node deployment as a graph mean card problem. Each microservice is a node in the graph, and the communication between microservices corresponds to the edge between two nodes. The communication data size are used as the weight of the edge. Our policy tries to divide the graph into n subgraphs while minimizing the aggregated weights of the broken edges. We therefore propose a balanced k-means algorithm optimized for the mean card problem. On each node, cross GPU deployment deploys the instance of the allocated microservice stage to multiple GPUs. We propose a search strategy to quickly find out a reasonable deployment scheme through adaptive pruning, as shown in the figure. The idea of pruning is finding the appropriate trade off between inter GPU communication and shared resource contention. When deploying the instance of the microservice stage, if the data transmitted between two adjacent stages is particularly large, Astria deploys the adjacent stage on the same GPU or top closed GPU. We sort the remaining GPUs according to their available resources. The partial ordering of the GPU resource is related to the characteristic of microservice, as the global memory capacity is a major resource bottleneck for GPU microservice. Astria says it as the highest priority in the deployment scheme. At last, an audio scheduling communication framework is required so that microservices are able to firmly communicate with each other without modifying source code. We first optimize intro GPU communication by proposing global memory based communication in the left figure. It eliminates the expensive data transfer between main memory and global memory for microservice on the same GPU using the code IPC. Figure right shows the communication time of four benchmarks for with the default and the global memory based mechanisms. As observed, global memory based communication greatly reduces the overhead and the larger the data is, the more performance gain is achieved. We also propose a unified communication API for the programmers. With our API, developers only need to set a unique identifier for each stage and then specify the following stage by a pendant successor stage. We evaluate a trail with the benchmarks on a machine equipped with two NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti GPU and three DJX2 machine. Table left are summarized their software and hardware experimental configurations. Astria do not rely on any special hardware features of used GPU and easy to be set up to on the latter GPUs. Table right lists the benchmarks that cover a wide spectrum of real multi-state GPU applications. The benchmarks include six AI-based GPU microservices from AI Bench and a cloud gaming benchmark. 
We compare Australia with state-of-art resource management system for CPU microservice firm and the resource management work for GPU collocation layers. The QS target of a user query is ranging from 50 milliseconds to 200 milliseconds and is defined as the end to end 99% latency. We conduct experiments on a single server and a multiple server respectively. The figure above is one node evaluation and the figure below is large scale evaluation on DJX2. From the figure, Astra ensures a 99% TL latency target no matter on a single server and multiple servers, which reduces the average QS violation 57%. Besides, Astra increases the throughput of the benchmarks greatly by up to 45% compared with firm and 82% with layers. To further show the generalization of Astria, we designed several artificial benchmarks, including the benchmark with a complex interconnect graph and the benchmark with 21 microservices, including multiple copies of PCIe memory compute intensive tasks, and we randomly arranged these microservices into 21 combinations. To evaluate the effectiveness of Astria's cross node deployment, we evaluate Astria with three nodes, and the GPU server support GPU to GPU direct communication based on NVLink. Figure left shows the throughput of the benchmark with the complex graph with baselines and Astria and the corresponding 99% latencies. As shown in the figure, we create 18 workloads, and on average, Astria significantly improved the throughput by 32.1% percent compared to baseline without QS violations. Figure right shows the latency and throughput results of the second benchmark on multiple servers with firm layers and Astria. As observed, on average, Astria improved the throughput by 47.2 percent while maintaining QS. Next, we show our evaluation. We evaluate the effectiveness of Astria in maximizing the supported peak service load of GPU microservice while ensuring the required QS. Finally, let's give a conclusion. In this work, we have several contributions. First, we provide the comprehensive characterization of GPU microservice. Next, we propose a trail to manage resources online for GPU microservice. We propose the resource allocation and the deployment policy and an auto-scheduling communication framework. And the experimental results show that the Astria increases the peak supported load by up to 82% while achieving the 99% latency target compared with the state of art work. As to the future work, we are now extending our work to manage applications that have both CPU and GPU components. That's all. Thank you for listening.